is the week investors have been waiting for since the August market sell-off. Yes, NVIDIA will report earnings on Wednesday after the market closes. The company is expected to address the Blackwell delay issue on the call. Joining us now to talk about NVIDIA and how that can impact big tech and overall market sentiment is Gene Munster, Deepwater Asset Management Managing Partner. Gene, thank you for being here. Important big week. Um, you think the odds are skewed that NVIDIA actually trades down on earnings. Why is that? Well, you uh, hit the pressure point right out of the gate there, and that is, of course, related to this Blackwell delay uh, last quarter. Uh, Jensen Wong said that they have, they're going to have a lot of Blackwell uh, demand, a lot of Blackwell revenue, specifically in calendar 24, and I suspect that that's going to be modest revenue. Tech stocks can claim similar growth, making NVIDIA stand out. Evaluating NVIDIA's current valuation is crucial, especially as the company continues to be a bellwether for the broader tech market. All, all eyes are on. NVIDIA's data center segment with expectations around $8 billion exceeding this target could significantly boost the broader market, particularly the Nasdaq Morgan Stanley's bullish stance pushing the stock up 7% emphasizes the potential upside in the data center numbers this optimism is rooted in. We're talking about a three-month delay, and uh, ultimately I think that for investors who are just hyper-focused on every minute of what this company is doing, that could be viewed as a slight uh, negative. Also keep in mind the stock is up 30% over the last uh, three weeks, just shy of 5% of its all-time highs. And so yeah, you generally, there's just a ton of noise around the quarter, but I think this Blackwell piece is probably the most important X factor about the quarter. And so that's kind of why I think that uh, the, sh the stock is going to trade down modestly. But I don't think that that, uh, that stock action should be representative of the opportunity NVIDIA over the next couple of years. The CEO's positive comments about global strength and minimal concerns about near-term trade issues suggesting confidence in NVIDIA's ability to deliver strong results. I think we're still very early. And just to kind of put in a context, we talk a lot about the quarter, about the stock action around NVIDIA, and this gets to kind of the broader theme. I think that the most important part about the NVIDIA quarter, I just want to go back to that one minute because I think it's important relative to the overall conversation, is Jensen's comments about what's going to happen with demand over the next one, two years. Two quarters ago, he said they have more demand. If one believes that AI will be more impactful than the internet or personal computers than NVIDIA's growth prospects over the next two to five years, an AI chip technology competing with NVIDIA is extremely challenging as observed through venture investments in rival companies when it comes to NVIDIA. It's essential to recognize the company's pivotal role in the the AI revolution NVIDIA's earnings have doubled largely due to its AI advancements few. Uh, then they can supply through the end of this year. Last quarter, he said well into 2025. If he continues to reiterate that, that the demand has continued to be more favorable, which I believe that he will do that. If he continues to reiterate that they have more uh, demand than supply, I think that investors, uh, I think awareness of the substance of what's going to happen is going to continue to be illuminated. And ultimately, I think that, uh, that these companies are going to continue to do very well. Take Apple, for example. I think that uh, ultimately... I use a stock market strategy in which I pick 10 stocks every month using artificial intelligence and get massive returns. Using this strategy, I have turned $4,000 into $143,000 in the last one year. The 10 stocks I bought last month has given me 177% return and I have again bought these 10 stocks. If you want to learn the strategy which I have revealed in my 3-hour course and get access to see which 10 stocks I'm buying every month and which trades I'm taking, plus all these benefits, click the link in description and join my Patreon. Join fast because this is a limited time offer. Please. The CEO's positive comments about global strength and minimal concerns about near-term trade issues suggesting confidence in NVIDIA's ability to deliver strong results, focusing on AI and VI's businesses, expected to grow over 110% year over year in the July quarter. In contrast, Microsoft, another major player in AI, is projected to grow around 10%, highlighting NVIDIA's leadership in the sector. Despite the rapid growth, NVIDIA is trading at about 35 times next year's earnings, with earnings growth expected to exceed 35%. Uh, if you look at NVIDIA's growth rates, it's 100% in 24, it goes to 40%, down to 15% in calendar 26, so essentially hitting the wall. I think that they're going to exceed that, and I think you're going to see across the board, we also own like Micron, for example, so I think that this hardware trade, even though uh, it is, uh, it, there is a, a deceleration factor to it, I believe that the street will exceed those estimates, and uh, I'm looking forward separately to this crop of, in a couple of years of these these new uh, private companies that are going to, I think, get really, uh, that public investors will be really excited about.
expected to grow over 110% year over year in the in AI is projected to grow around 10% highlighting Nvidia's leadership in I think that, that that that's the risk this week, of course, and just to, to zero in on the next five days is that the market is going to be, this is the only thing that matters to the AI trade uh, uh, this week. It's obviously the biggest factor in general, but of course with the earnings. And so, yes, I think that if there is a modest pullback, I think if there's anything around Blackwell, I think that that could be perceived as a negative for kind of broader tech that especially the mega caps that have enjoyed uh, uh, some of this AI movement. Movement here. I still think we're very early in this, but again, I, I want to, to, to frame in that I think that, that trading in the near term doesn't impact uh, what's ultimately going to happen. In the sector, despite the rapid growth, NVIDIA is trading at about 35 times next year's earnings with earnings growth expected to exceed 35%. Investors is their belief in AI's potential if AI is considered as transformative as electricity, which is rated 100 out of 100 in impact, then the structural change driven by AI is just beginning. If they upgraded every three years, there would be boom and bust cycles. My concern was the Osborne effect, but it didn't play out this quarter. The recent results from NVIDIA uh, indicate that the transition to AI is happening much faster than anticipated. To put it in perspective, quarter, this rapid change highlights a seismic shift toward AI, while AI has been a buzzword for the past year. All and a half the substance will ultimately surpass the right now. NVIDIA seems set to grow EPS by 30 to 40 percent over the next few years, making the stock attractive looking ahead to 2026. The street expects almost 30 percent growth in 2025, but I believe it could be. Um, and I think that uh, investors are going to get hyper-focused uh, this week, but it's ultimately going to probably miss what is uh, what I still believe is the biggest opportunity we've seen in 20 years. I still think that we are in the early innings of a three to five year tech bull market that's powered by AI. And I think that uh, all these uh, many of these big tech companies are going to do well uh, over the next couple of years as, as that starts to go. So while there will be market fluctuations, AI represents a significant long term opportunity expectations for Nvidia's earnings and sales this fiscal year are up about 90 percent with margins in the mid to high 700s. They have new product ramps and are facing some new competition and potential plateau in certain demand areas. Nvidia has a significant significant customer. Concentration with Microsoft, Google, Amazon, and Meta making up about 40% of their business. They are also coming up against some difficult comparisons from previous quarters, although I don't own it personally or in the deep water fund. Currently, it's important to consider the part and to consider the pressure points affecting. NVIDIA one major factor is the product transition. The biggest concern is the potential for the Osborne effect where customers delay orders in anticipation of new products and VI's existing product, the H200 chip will be succeeded by the upcoming B100, B200, and Blackwell platforms expected in the fall. I share stock market's latest news, datas, and important information on my Telegram channel. If you want to stay updated with these things before everyone else, open the description of this video, click on my Telegram channel's link, and simply join my Telegram channel. 35% or more, this growth isn't just from hyperscalers, but also from industrial AI application layers and sovereign nations. NVIDIA's growth story will continue. NV's results show that the AI transition is happening much faster than expected in April 2023. NVIDIA's business was down 133% year over year. But it surged by 260% last quarter. This rapid change highlights a major shift toward AI. While AI has been a buzzword for the past year and a half, the reality will exceed the hype with this perspective concerns about inflation future cash flow significantly impact a company's valuation. Two companies with identical revenue and profit can have vastly different values if one grows at 20% annually and the other at 5%. I use a stock analyzer tool that factors in growth rates, profit margins, free cash flows, and price-to-earnings ratios over the price-to-earnings ratios over the Next decade, this approach helps determine a reasonable value for each company. It's not about finding undervalued cigarette but companies, but rather evaluating future cash flows and buying at a discount to their present. Value ultimately the desired annual return on investments varies while the market average hovers around 9% individual circumstances may call for higher returns to ensure a sufficient margin of safety, especially when understanding of a business is limited in conclusion understanding these principles. It can guide your decisions as an investor whether you're interested in service-based comp companies Giants like Apple stock was rising early on Thursday after a steep sell-off in semiconductor stocks. The previous day bargain hunting looked to be overcoming geopolitical concerns for the chip in early trading after falling more than 6%. The previous day as investors fled the chip sector following comments by former U.S. President Donald Trump over the defense of Taiwan apart from a, a by the dippy reaction Nvidia stock could also be benefiting from read across from an earnings. Similar to Intel and AMD, these in-house chips are unlikely to rival the compute capacity of Nvidia's H100 or Blackwell architecture, but they are going to take up value.
valuable real estate in AI accelerated data centers. The development of these AI GPUs also provides a pretty clear message that America's most influential businesses aim to reduce their reliance on Nvidia's hardware going forward. The bulk of Nvidia's growth over the last five quarters can be traced to its pricing power, with Intel and AMD set to flood the market with additional chips in four Magnificent Seven. Companies developing AI chips for internal use, the AI GPU scarcity that's fueled Nvidia's adjusted margin ramp is going to disappear. Nvidia's forecast decline in adjusted gross margin likely speaks to these pricing pressures, which I believe will only grow stronger in subsequent quarters. Over the last five years, Nvidia's average look forward price earnings multiple has been 40 times Jackson told CNBC on Tuesday. Yesterday, after this two day correction, it was 39 times forward price earnings, but there have been three times in the last five years where it's had a look forward price earnings multiple of over 50x, and two times in the last five years where it's gotten just about to 70x, and then it pulled back. So we just haven't seen that euphoria yet. This is a high flyer and expectations can reset on a bad earnings report, but they can also get equally overhyped on good news. And despite the fact the stock has had this enormous run, the euphoria hasn't yet caught up in terms of the go forward multiple Jackson said. Shares of Nvidia have already soared 151% year to date, and the chipmaker was briefly the most valuable company in the world at its peak last week with a market valuation of about $3.3 trillion. I think what's going to happen in the second half of this year is people start to see how well the Blackwell chips are selling, how good the gross margins are on those, and start thinking about what's to come with the Rubin chips around the corner. I use a stock market strategy in which I pick 10 stocks every month using artificial intelligence and get massive returns. Using this strategy I have turned $4,000 into $143,000 in the last one year. The 10 stocks I bought last month has given me 177% return and I have again bought these 10 stocks. If you want to learn the strategy which I have revealed in my 3 hour course and get access to see which 10 stocks I'm buying every month and which trades I'm taking. Plus all these benefits. Click the link in description and join my Patreon. Join fast because this is a limited time offer. I think we'll start to see that euphoria reflected in a lofty go forward price earnings multiple. And if that happens, this thing can go to $6 trillion market cap, Jackson said. Jackson added that Nvidia had a sizable lead over its competition and would take advantage of that for years to come. Additionally, Jackson said that comparisons of Nvidia today to Cisco during the dot com bubble were unfounded. This is not Cisco in the dot com era. Back then, Cisco's go forward PE multiple got to a peak of something like 136x. Again, we're below the mean for the last five years. So even though the stock has done so well, well, it is still relatively cheap compared to where it was trading in the past, Jackson said. Jackson isn't the only one on Wall Street who is still bullish on the stock even when accounting for its massive run over the past year. Constellation Research and Rosenblatt have a $200 price target for Nvidia stock, while Bank of America recently reiterated its $150 target. While Nvidia's long-term prospects remain bullish, according to Wall Street, that does not mean it is immune from sharp declines. Shares of Nvidia wiped out more than $400 billion in market value earlier this week, with the stock staging a three-day correction of 16%. Nvidia I share stock, stock market's latest bit. news, data, and important on information on my Telegram people, channel. Seems. If you want to stay updated with these things before ago, everyone else, the are open the description of, the of this We're video, stories about click on my Telegram channel as if the company is and simply join my Telegram and channel. Spell being broken, one commentator declared that Nvidia has had a whiplash-inducing few months. Certainly not. Nvidia stock went up consistently from mid-April to mid-June. Then it pulled back a little bit. This is normal. It's not unusual for institutional investors to take profits after a big rally. Sensible investors should actually be encouraged when they witness the critics come out of hiding. They should be glad to hear the calls for a tech reckoning. They ought to celebrate when they see interactive broker strategist Steve Sosnick's arguing just because the risks have proved unfounded before doesn't mean that they have disappeared. That's a pretty good summation of the bears argument against Nvidia now. They were wrong about Nvidia's perceived risks in the past and they probably lost money, but maybe their perma pessimism be vindicated at some point. Investments in AI infrastructure referred to as training which is expected to be a two to three aggressive investment cycle. Following this, the focus will shift to inference which involves applying AI models to derive answers from data as AI queries increase this transition from training to. Inference promises at least five years of robust growth ahead for NVIDIAI is a massive opportunity from NVIDIA's latest call. It's clear that 40% of GPU usage is already attributed to AI indicating real adoption beyond. I share stock market's latest news, datas, and important information on my Telegram channel. If you want to stay updated with these things before everyone else, Open the description of this video, click on my Telegram channel's link, and simply join my Telegram channel.
Jean explains that AI's evolution encompasses various phases, inference, application, heavy industry, and ultimately sovereign states. Jean believes that NVIDIA is poised to benefit from these phases, suggesting that it will continue to grow faster for a longer period. This makes NVIDIA a compelling investment, even as energy stocks gain traction. Jean emphasizes several critical points about NVIDIA and its position in the AI and tech industry. Boom and bust nature. Jean highlights NVIDIA's business cycle, pointing out that prior to the AI boom, their business was down 17% per quarter on average. Since the AI surge, Gene notes it has increased by 200% per quarter on average. This underscores the cyclical nature of the tech industry, particularly for companies like NVIDIA. Underlying growth and AI's potential. Gene stresses that the primary question regarding NVIDIA's valuation and future prospects is its underlying growth potential, which is closely tied to the future of AI. Gene believes AI is incredibly significant, perhaps even more so than past technological shifts like the internet or mobile computing. Current AI adoption. Gene points out that, according to NVIDIA's recent call, 40% of their GPU usage is for actual AI application, not just infrastructure build-out. Gene sees this as an indication that AI is already being adopted and used, which bodes well for NVIDIA's continued growth. Gene notes that most analysts are predicting this correction could occur around 2026, indicating that NVIDIA may face challenges, but also has potential for significant growth until then. Strategic position in AI development. Gene underscores that NVIDIA is at the forefront of AI development, with a multi-year lead over competitors. Gene believes the strategic position will enable NVIDIA to capitalize on various phases of AI development, from inference and applications to heavy industry and sovereign state adoption. Investor belief in AI's transformative potential. Gene asserts that the central question for investors is whether they believe AI will be as transformative as many, including Gene himself, predict. If investors share Gene's belief that AI could surpass the internet and PC in terms of impact, they might view NVIDIA as a company poised for sustained growth over the next several years and is emphasizing several key points about NVIDIA and its position in the AI and tech industry. Boom and bust nature. NVIDIA's business has experienced significant fluctuations. 